Fedox. Fedox. Yes. Bit of rabbit. Not the toe. Leave it. Pace. I shot a rabbit. Poe's my main dog. She's been around for a long time. And tomorrow we're going to hunt you, aren't we, eh? She can still catch a pig. She's still got her and she's about 13 years old. Oh, dog, go, oh, dog. 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 Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, dog, go, oh, dog. Get up that hill. Get up that hill. In the morning light. Get up that hill. Good dog, get in. Down the river stream. Down the river stream. Down the river stream. Dog and boy so mean. Dog and boy so mean. This wet and mud and a little bit of blood. This wet and mud and a little bit of blood. Now hold that pig and hold him hard. And hold him hard and hold him hard. Well, the river on red. Well, the river run red. Well, the river run red. When the old boy's dead. Old dog, old dog. Old dog, old dog. Old boy, old oh boy. Old dog, old dog. They got it. They got it. The dogs have got a pig down this gully. Shit. I'll think about this carefully when we're going to go. Not a big pig by any means. Uh, just a wee one. But hey, it's about taking her off the hill and uh, making it into food, and that's what I will do with this one, even though it's a tiny one. Oh, that was good fun though, just to get down there. Good girl, Poe. Good dog. Whew. As I say, not a biggie, but a piggy. Good girl, Poe. Yeah, there's other pigs around here, but that's all they got. There was a bigger one, but it snuck out the back door and old Tarly and Charlie copped it. Right, we'll drop the guts out and we'll carry it back out. Good dog, good effort. 
Good kill. Thank you. Good boy. Yeah, she's a good dog. Pace's uh, feet have got blood all over me. He's doing the hard yards over the gravel and shit. Righto, this exercise is for anybody that does a bit of hunting. You may find yourself in the hut and all there is is bits of wood like this or just even rounds and an axe. It's raining outside, you get there, there's no kindling, there's no paper, there's nothing to get ignited. All you can do is feather your wood, either with your knife or with your axe like we've done today. Now this is going to be really difficult to get going because it's, it's winter here in New Zealand. Everything around's wet and everything I've cut up is, is thicker than I would like because it's been done with a an axe. I want to use these flames to singe my pig. Let's get the uh, hair singed off it. And the process is pretty stinky. And then when that's done, we can start to roast it. And get my knife, my stick knife, and I'll start taking that off. Got a couple of waratahs here. Put one on that groove there, like that, on that. Depending on how hot you want it down here, it's hotter. Up there is further away from the flames. There's more meat in this end, so it's going to want to have more heat on it. All these bits of water starting to burn down quite a bit, and it's putting out some heat. Piggy's slowly cooking there nicely. We want it so it's coming out clear, that means it's cooked, not red. It's had about three hours, we could give it another another hour I reckon. This meat here looks pretty good. To give it a little bit longer still. I'm starting to think this might be just about ready. Mmm. Almost. Dogs know what time it is, don't you, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not the poe. Never give your dogs corn, guys. They can't process it and they choke on it. And it gets stuck also in their bowel. Just for humans. Don't give them cooked bones either. Uh, wait for it, poe. Wait for it. Good dogs. Good dogs. Poe. Good girl. Pace. They just love it. My dogs just love pork when it's cooked like this. Pace sit. Pace sit. Good dog. Good dog, Pace. That's a guava berry. And you've got to get them before the birds get them. Yeah. You've got to be fast. Otherwise, they'll like that pretty quick. Cape gooseberries. I've got this plant down at the beach. Built this tree hut for my daughter, Dayla. But once in a blue moon, I like to get away from the madness of the world and stay in it. Come up the stairs, you open up a trap door that's actually underneath the bed. That closes there. And my bed's up here. The sun that's setting in the west comes through the window and makes it nice and bright in here. I've got a wet chair, that's where I make my coffee. And I've got a few bits and pieces. Got some fruit and some vegetables, a little shelf. And if you look out the window, you can see I've got the fire going down there. And I might sit there and play the harmonica with the dogs for a while before I go to bed. The roof is clear light to let the sky sort of bring some light into it. Underneath the bed, I keep my food in a little cooler bag stored as well. I only drink decaffeinated before I go to bed at night. Water from our well. This 
smells really good. Mm. Mankind takes up very little space on Earth. Of two billion inhabitants who populate the Earth were to stand up and squeeze fairly close together as if for a public meeting. They could easily be accommodated on a public square 20 miles long and 20 miles wide. How long ago was this book written then? The Little Prince. I don't have a big evening meal. I find I sleep better without it. Here's a couple of carrots. And some berries for dessert. Soon it'll be dark and the birds will start to sing. That's a beautiful time of night. I like the early morning and I like it late in the evening. They're my two favourite times here in the tree hut. Guava berry. Tart but sweet. Delicious. The Cape Gooseberries, very high in vitamin C and delicious. They come in little lanterns like this. Isn't that cool? <sighs> Here in New Zealand in the Southern Hemisphere, you can tell when the moon is coming. On the left hand side, it's shaped more like a C, and the flatter side is on the right hand side. But the moon is going, it's descending, and that's a D, D for descending. So the flat side is on the left hand side, and the curvature is on the right hand side. That to me looks like it's coming still, not quite full. And the wind vane is saying that it's coming from the east tonight, but not much. That'll be good for hunting tomorrow. Evening ladies, got something for you. Here we go. Wrap your laughing gear around that. My broad beans are in flower. This is a good crop for winter. We're going to get some good beans off these. There you go. That's a Muscovy duck. That's ducky. And that's a Pekin duck. And that duck there is super duck. She's a big duck. This is Poe. She's nearly retired now. But you can still catch a pig, can't you, Poe? And this is Pace. This is where I grow my food. These are sheep nuts. There you go, guys. You can have that. There's mum there. This is made out of possum and other stuff. Possum is a pest in New Zealand, it's an introduced species, but it also makes a great dog tucker. Eat up! Before the sun's completely gone down, I want to prepare my breakfast. Flax seed, but I make sure that I grind it and have some chia seed as well. If you buy it pre-ground, it's going to be oxidated, so you're better to have it fresh. This goes into a small pot. And some oats. And then my water. Now a mixture. A little bit of walnut, not too much. Pumpkin seeds, some sunflower seeds. And pop a lid on to keep the bugs out. That in the morning. This old rusty water pipe that comes out of the ground backs up as a good holder for our pots. 
it's right in the right place just by chance. The camp oven can also be used as a fry pan by tipping its lid upside down and you can also put coals on the top but I'm getting enough heat to not do that tonight. My daughter's joining me soon for dinner. There we have it, the super moon. It's the 31st of August. It's the second full moon this month, so it's also a blue moon. Merry Christmas! Yeah, it's like Christmas, eh? So you got your favourite. It's got me a whole pig. A whole pig. But you can pick up the leg, what you want. It's yummy and smoky. It'll be really good. <laughs> I had a wee taste, it's pretty good. Whoa. Mm. I haven't had wild pork in so long. There's a uh, sweet potato. Hey, we've got some shallots roasted here too. Yum. Roasted garlic in there as well. Oh, this smells great. There's a lot of hunters that don't actually keep those little pigs though, but they're actually the best chewing. They're like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Like a mm. big chicken. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Can I uh, squeeze inside the honey? <laughs> you enjoying that? Yeah, I just haven't had pork in so long. Mm. So, I mean, I don't buy meat. Yeah, it's expensive, eh? That's um, kale. You that's, like fried it? Yeah, it's fried it. But it's, it's cr nice, eh? Oh my god, it's so yum. Yeah, kale's good like that, isn't it? You do it in the camp oven, it's crunchy, eh? Mm -hmm. mm. It's like kale chips. No, it's like kale chips, really nice. And they like, you get so much kale when it goes so small. Mm -hmm. So, you're getting like so much nutrition from it. You are. Actually, a really good and thing to taste. Yum. Good thing taking the bush with you is kale chips as well. Really high in nitrogen, you get that nitric oxide and it really powers you along. It'd be hard to like keep it from on. Going off? Mm. If it's dry, it's okay. It's moisture, it makes it goes off. Hey guys, uh, this is my tree hut video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And uh, punch your like if you think I've got this one right. We'll see you in the next one. Consider jumping on my Patreon if you want to help me make these videos. It's what I do for a living now these days. And uh, be good. Can't be good, be careful. See you soon. <laughs>